Jim DeVita asked me like what time period I would want to put it in and so I had said the late renaissance um, craft artisans and laborers this was like a really fruitful time so um, when we speak about the renaissance in terms of like art and craft like we can all kind of picture what that is in our our thought processes um, so that's how we kind of landed on time period you've probably seen versions where people have guns but we wanted the craft and artistry of sword play and daggers so that meant that it had to be kind of pre 19th century say better here comes our master's kids yes better sir you lie draw you be mad I think that the costume should look like clothes, so I was trying very hard for the clothes to reflect the character first, the, what the internal character was telling me, and then how they relate to each other. So for example, Romeo's family, and we call them the Montagues, even though not all of them are Montagues, but they're all in more of a laboring class, colors of like sand and oatmeal and tans and colors of the earth because um, they're people that work with their hands. And then the Capulets, who are more of the merchant class, they have more opulent clothes, um, they have more jewel tones, and so the color kind of separates them, but I didn't do a like red team, blue team idea. This is a line drawing that I then transferred in a line drawing phase to here by putting a piece of graphite paper in between the layers, and then I paint over it. These little swatches were a conversation with Jimmy DeVita about what color we wanted this dress to be and this doublet to be. This is their party party outfit. We get all kinds of these swatches, we have hundreds of them, and then we kind of compare it to, oh, well that color looks like this, and it's delicate and um, soft, and so we pick fabrics that coordinate with the garment. This one turned into Romeo um, because I wanted him in sort of cool blue tones and it has sort of an interesting texture to it that feels a little bit more rustic. When you see the show it's got cording that's this color that kind of coordinates with this peachy tone so it brings a little bit of her color into his garment. And then we showed the fabrics to the draper and the people that are going to sew it and they say they like it or they don't <laughs> and then we go from there and we build the costumes. This was a mask that I bought while I was in Italy and it inspired me to want to design Roman and Juliet because of the handcraft of making these leather masks. And I just thought it was really beautiful that people still did that. And back in the day it would be more commonplace, but in the Renaissance, this would be like, you'd be the one mask maker in town. 